What up YouTube, this is Supercharged iOS, and in this video I'm going to show you how to root the Minix Neo X7 and install a custom ROM. Now the first thing you'll need to do is download the Katsy Minix Neo X7 rooted firmware, and it should take you no more than about 3 minutes, and also the Rockchip Batch Tool version 1.7, and I'll have links in the description for both of those, so just get those downloaded and you'll be ready to move on to the next step. And the easiest way to do this would be just to click save as opposed to open. As soon as you click the download, just go ahead and select save and then make sure that you go into the downloads folder and get the file and drag and drop it to your desktop so that you can easily access both of the files. And once you get these two zip files downloaded, you want to go into the CADSI folder that contains the update image. And once you see this screen, you want to go ahead and click on that update and drop it right on your desktop like that. Next, you'll need to put the X7 into flash mode. So you'll need a paper clip or a similar tool that you can use to press the restore button. And you'll also need the power cable as well as a micro USB to USB cable. And make sure that you have the micro USB with the extended tip because it's very important. Otherwise, it won't work. Now you want to locate the OTG port, which is right next to the SD card slot, and you want to connect the micro USB tip into it, and you want to connect the USB end of it to your USB port of your computer. Now you want to connect the power cable, and you'll notice on the back, on the opposite end, there'll be a button that says recovery. It's a small pinhole. All you need to do is insert either a paper clip or something very similar in and hold that button while you press the power button so just make sure you've got the button like that and just hold it in and press the power button then let go of the power button and just continue to hold it and you'll hear your computer give you an alert just like that and that's when you can go ahead and release the recovery button now once your computer is finished installing the drivers, if it didn't install the drivers correctly, you may need to install them manually. So if you need to do that, you may be faced with this window here. Don't search for the updates driver software. Just browse your computer for the driver software. Click right there. And then you want to locate the Rock Chip Batch tool. And you want to browse into that. And when you see this screen pop up, just scroll down until you see rock USB driver and then you want to go ahead and select your version of Windows whether it's Vista, Windows 7 or Windows 8 just go ahead and select it I already have the drivers installed but once you click there you'll be prompted just follow the prompts and get the correct drivers installed and you'll be ready to move on and once you get the message on your screen that you've installed the driver successfully just go ahead and restart your computer at that point just to be sure that you got everything applied and all the settings are correct for the driver. And now that the drivers are installed successfully and you've restarted your computer, just go ahead and double click on the Rockchip Batch Tool 1.7 and you want to double click on the 1.7 again and then find Rock Batch Tool, RK Batch Tool right there double click and then you want to also click on extract all once you click extract all make sure that this is selected the rock chip batch tool 1.7 and then click extract and it'll just take a couple seconds to extract the batch tool now you'll see it on your screen again so just double click again and then double click the batch tool and then click run now you need to put the x7 back into flash mode so just use the paper clip again, just like I showed you earlier in the video, and just press the recovery button in, and press the power button, and then release the power button. Now that you see the green dot, the device is in flash mode and it's connected to the batch tool. Now just click up here. Now just locate the update file right there. Double click, and it'll put it right there. On this screen you'll see loading from firmware finished and then you can just go right here to restore make sure you click on restore and the process will begin and I'll see you right after it's finished and you can see now it's downloading the firmware and you can see it gives you a little detailed breakdown of the steps as it goes and there you go the process is complete 
So you can disconnect the Minix Neo X7 from your computer, and then you can connect it to your television. And I'll see you as soon as I do that. All right, there we go. I'll go ahead and choose the normal launcher. So let's take a look in the settings real quick on the About tablet. And you can see right here under Kernel version, root right there. That lets you know that's the running a rooted kernel, 1080p kernel. And also the rooted firmware is installed as well under the build number. So that lets you know that you're running a rooted firmware on the Minix Neo X7. All right, this is Supercharged iOS. This video showed you how to install the rooted firmware on the Minix Neo X7. Hope you guys found this video pretty useful. If you did, please click the like button. Also like my page at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS. Follow me at twitter.com forward slash charged iOS. And don't forget to subscribe to my new channel at youtube.com forward slash extreme tech global. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.